Hey y'all, okay, I have a question. Do you have a go-to Bible verse? Um, it could be your life verse or something that is even just for a season. Um, for two examples right here. I know that two years ago, the day before Thanksgiving, and you, if you followed me long enough, you've read it, if not, go back and you can read about it, but I broke my leg. I, I, I fell, I dislocated the ankle, I looked down, it was perpendicular to my leg like a football player, um, kind of an injury that you sometimes see or just any athlete, and it was disgusting. And I remember this guy that was 6'4", he was here working on our house because we were just at the end of the renovation process, and, and he looked down at it and he went, Oh, that's broken. And I went, you think? Yeah, yeah, it is. And so he wanted to gently help me up. I'm like, mm, dude, pick me up. So anyhow, but back then it was be still. Be still and know that I am God from Psalms 4610. And I had that hanging on my couch where I am now. I was positioned where I could see the TV and, and, um, and I had my computer. And I had this Bible verse. I'm looking over there and you can't see it over there, but... I had this hanging where I could constantly be reminded because I'm a girl that goes, 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 goes. But we have to have to be still. We need to remind ourselves to be still and just know that He is God and He is in control of everything. So what I had that instance in my life, this was my go-to verse, and I still have it hanging here, and it's always a great reminder. Well, recently, and I really wasn't going to share much of this story, but um, just briefly, because my friend Monica told me I need to make sure that I share this story with you, because... Satan was trying to get to my inner cell. He was trying to get to my core of me. And I went, nope, not going to have it. So for, I don't know, it was probably about um, five or six weeks, I had gotten some test results back from going in from a normal routine. And some, some numbers were high in some areas. And um, I went through some other... Um, complications of the body that required me to get cultures and ultrasounds in a couple of areas. And then I had a, a, a CT scan done and praise the Lord. Oh, and then they took nine vials of blood. And, they, and so I went through a process, but the whole time I was going through this, I was just like, you know what? It's okay. It's going to be okay because if there is something wrong with me, you know what? Let's just see what the next step is. It's going to um, happen, and we're just going to stick with God the whole time. And I, I prayed, and I had my prayer warriors, my brothers, and I had a, my handful of little prayer people that I had going on with me. And we prayed and prayed and prayed, and you know what? God worked a miracle. When I went to go see this doctor who's saying that is a great bedside manners, loved how thorough he was. He's an oncologist and hematologist, and he is wonderful. I think he was just as happy as Tim and I were when we got the news, and he said, your numbers are better than they have been in, like, years, and, and you're, everything's great. Here's what I want you to do. And so we're like, yes, and of course we cried. But the day that I went to the doctor, I wore this bracelet that my friend Carrie had gotten me, and it's from Joshua 1.9. And then last night, I had this fun party at my house, y'all, where we make all these little things. We painted the stencil, stencil painted these. Um, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Well, I chose this one because this has been my go-to verse for the past couple of months while I was going through that season. And um, so here. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. Joshua 1.9. And I would keep saying it. And I would keep praying it. And believing it. And so, I want to know, what is your go-to verse? Or what is your life verse? I would love to hear. Because you know what? If you post it down below in the comment section, somebody's going to read it. And it's going to touch their heart because I think that people need to hear some Bible verses, don't you? And then here, here's another little ditty that I picked up last night at the party. I got this for hosting the party. I got to pick one and I picked this one. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So, hey, go serve the Lord. Put your Bible verse down below that um, will maybe encourage someone else today. 
Have a great day, y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.